Hello? Anybody there? You really expecting an answer? I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. Hmm, charming. Well, what do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. Looks like a paper clip. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paper clip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to... work. Oh, ye of little faith. No ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel... something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Looks like desk drawers to me. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Joey, come here. This had better be important, sweetheart. A man jumped out of a window in this building. Suicide? Seems so. I wonder if it was one of these windows. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. That's all for now. Sure. Oh, Joey. Yeah? I think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. All right, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. I'm here to help. Help? <laughs> Why would you want to help me? You just seem like a guy who could use some. You don't know anything about me. Well, let's change that. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I... I can't think of anything else to do. Um, I think this might be too little too late. What do you mean? I mean you can't kill yourself. You're already dead. What? I said you're already dead. That's... sick. You're insane. Get off my ledge.
Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no, just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. Even Sandra. Sandra? My wife. Hey, Alan, I'm gonna take off. Don't, uh, go anywhere. All right. Hello in there. What? I said hello. I can't hear you. Never mind. What? I said n Ah, forget it. Man, this is going to be awkward. Why is that? The guy's threatening to jump. Jump? Yeah. Well, how can he... Yeah, it's an odd one. Not to interrupt, darling, but let's talk. What is it? Hey, why don't you try snooping around? You think there's a clue here? There's gotta be something. If we knew more about the guy, we might be able to save him. Have you tried talking to him? It's like running into a brick wall. Well, if anyone's an expert on going through a brick wall, it's you. Huh? You know, being a ghost and all. Ho <laughs> ho cute. You just gonna stand there? Do something productive, why don't you? I'm doing the best I can. What else can I do? Investigate. Move stuff around. Use those hands and arms. I gotta think of everything? It's a long way down from here. If you want to jelly up the pavement, this is a good place to make sure it's done right. That's kind of tasteless. Just saying. Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. I'm gonna take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50, overweight, and not to mention broke. What woman would want me? Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. Do you like redheads? Sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. You do? Sure, she's inside. Wanna meet her? Is this a trick? Of course not. Okay. There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kind of young for me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. What are you doing? Shh! Go on, Tiger. She's waiting. So, you've been asking about me. Oh, um, sure. Really? Why? Well, uh... You seem like a nice guy. A nice guy? Sure. Let me tell you something, lady. Women don't like nice guys. What's your angle? You're not interested in me. Wait. I'm wasting my time. Thanks for trying, 
but this isn't going to work. Hey, wait! She was trying to be nice! Did you just try to set me up? Just call me Matchmaker Malone. I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. I'm gonna take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. Hey, there's some venture capitalist inside. Wants to talk to you about starting another business? Really? Someone wants to start a business with me. That's what she said. Why don't you come inside and talk to her? Well, okay. There's your investor. She's heard about your old business and wants to join forces. Is that right? You bet. This isn't some kind of gag? Of course not. She's loaded. Go on, talk to the lady. So, what's the story? You really want to invest in a bankrupt publishing supply company? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? Well, uh... Actually, I just wanted to see if you were as pathetic as everybody says. What? What? Do business with you? Ha! Huh, that's a laugh. You're the joke of the publishing world. You're right. Hey, you gonna let her talk to you like that? Huh? Stand up for yourself, man! Stand up for myself? You gonna let people push you around all your life? You're right. You're right! Let her have it. Hey, lady. You don't know anything. I built this business from scratch. I clawed and wheeled and dealed all the way to the top. You see this office? You see that view? Look me in the eye and tell me I don't deserve it. I've worked all my life to be the best. Okay, I had one big setback. Maybe I thought it was over, but it's not. I got this far once, I'll do it again. You can take your money and shove it where the sun don't shine. I don't need you. Get out of here. Bravo. That felt good. Quite a rush, huh? I feel like I can do anything. Like I've got a second chance. Uh... First thing I'm going to do is buy back this office. Yeah, about that? I made some mistakes before. I won't make them again. Uh... I might have fallen once, but... But... Wait... I fell, didn't I? I remember now. I'm sorry. You're not really looking to invest, are you? No, I'm not. I went out onto the ledge, and I slipped. I don't know why I went out there, but I wasn't going to jump. I was confused. For some reason, it seemed like the right thing to do. Stupid. Stupid! What a stupid way to die. Hey, what happened to that can-do attitude of yours? It makes no difference now, does it? Maybe not to anyone else, but it does to you. Huh. Maybe you're right. So what do I do now? Just take a hold of this. Okay, do it.
Another day, another satisfied spook. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. Twelve Steps to Getting Your First Novel Published, Parts 1 and 2. I never could get past step number four. My bedroom door, or as I like to call it, my illusion of privacy. I'm too edgy to sleep now. What am I forgetting? When was the last time I watered that plant? I think it was a week ago. I'm surprised it's still alive. I'll water it later. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him since I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. Hey Griff, how are you today? Fluff all secure? Holding yourself together? Awesome. So Griff, what's up? What exciting adventures are you having today? Are you feeling alright? I don't know. Let's ask Griff, shall we? So Griff, how do I look to you? Thanks, Griff. That's very sweet of you. So what did he say? Teddy bears can't talk, Joey. Right. Yeah, it's fake, but you can hardly tell. It's an African ghost drum. It's supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It doesn't work. It's fine where it is. This couch came with the apartment. I have no idea how old it is. I picked this up at a tag sale years ago. Some people think lava lamps are tacky, but I think they're cool. I don't know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. My computer. It's not the latest model, but it does the job. Let's talk, Joey. Uh-huh. I know I'm forgetting something. Well, maybe you should have written it down. You know, I think I did. Do you remember where? No. Well, there you go. That's all for now. Sure.
that plant is getting a little top-heavy. I remember when her aunt bought this for her. Was it almost 30 years ago? Jesus, I'm surprised it lasted this long. What do you want me to do, blow on it? I've got no interest in that thing. A rubber plant, obviously fake. She picked this up at a flea market a few weeks ago. She only played it once, then shoved it up here. She looked disappointed, but she didn't tell me why. Just an old couch. I saw these things come into style and then go out again. I didn't get it then, and I don't get it now. I've never met anyone who read this much. No wonder she needs glasses. This is called a remote control. She says it's supposed to turn on that television from far away, but I've never seen it work. I don't know what possessed that woman to play tourist. Going all over the city, trying to get that sullen kid to open up. I told her it was a bad idea, but she was stubborn for all the good it did her. There I am, sitting on the sidelines. Look at that little rug rat. If she knew the trouble she was causing, she didn't show it. I don't see anything. There's absolutely nothing written here. A bunch of newspaper articles she wrote for a local rag. Her boss was a real piece of work. I'm glad she quit that gig. This was the last article she wrote for that old newspaper rag. It was also our first case together. If this is the best the kid can do, she's lucky I turned up. She actually signed her name to this? She dragged me out to that wedding and I wouldn't let her forget it. Seems kind of frivolous now that I think of it. Look at her, all smiles. Was she really so happy? Or did the camera just catch her at the right moment? It was so long ago I don't remember. I never saw Maria much, but she was alright. She liked to cook, is all I really remember. I never saw Jack much, but he was a good kid. Smart, read a lot. I guess that's where Red gets it from. My father died in a car crash soon after I was born. Looking at this picture is like looking at a stranger. My mother died in a car crash soon after I was born. She looks so young in this picture, more like a kid sister than a mother. Auntie looks kind of happy. I wonder what she was smiling about. Joey looks angry. Of course, that's nothing unusual. Auntie Lauren and me, on the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't remember anything about that day. I barely remember Auntie. All my life, I wanted to know more about her. I never imagined that she was a medium. I look scared out of my mind. Maybe I could sense Joey, even then. If so, I had a good reason to be scared. We almost look like a real family with Joey standing there. The most dysfunctional family in the country, but still. Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. I was never cut out for journalism. It's not much, but it's mine. We found Allie's ghost haunting the Washington Square dog park, another victim of the Deacon's madness. She's all right now, wherever she is. Joanne and her friends were the victims of a spirit called the Deacon. I never met her, living or dead, but her death enabled me to save her two friends, which is something, I guess. Susan was the only one of the three girls to survive. I looked her up once, after it was all over. She left New York and went back home to the Midwest. 
I assume she's all right. Seven p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Oh crap! What time is it? Seven fifteen. Damn it! She's going to kill me. What's your problem? The gallery opening. Don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us. All right, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. Do what you like. It's not like I have a choice. I'm ready if you are. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. I have no idea who lives there. It's the trash room. That apartment belongs to Nishanti Sharma. She's nice, I guess. A little lost, are we? I have no idea where the park gallery is. Oh, too bad. Looks like another night writing on the computer for you. Maybe using the computer isn't a bad idea. Here we go, the Park Gallery. It's on 18th Street by 10th Avenue. Uh, let's go and get this over with. Let's go. It's about time. Let's scram. Wow, I feel cultured already. Shh! Hi, are you here for the opening? Yes. Great! But I'm sorry, I think you came on the wrong night. The public opening's in two days. Tonight's a private showing. Oh no, I'm with someone. Nishanti Sharma, is she here? Really? Let me check. Nish? Nish? Yes? Someone here says she knows you. That must be Rosa. It's all right, Josie. She's with me. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Sure. Anyway, I'm Josie Park, and this is the Park Gallery. Man, she's clever. I bet she came up with that all by herself. Go on in, have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. 